What's up, Time Keepers? Me, Time Game here, gonna be trying out Portal for you guys. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright, guys, so today I'm gonna be jumping into Portal, the first one. Uh, I've never personally played Portal, so hopefully, we'll, I'll enjoy it for the first time with you guys if you haven't, if you have never seen the game before. I know this is a very popular game on Steam. Like I said, I'm new to computer gaming. And the game was 80, like a dollar on Steam for the summer sale, so I decided to buy it. I already had Portal 2, but I never had a chance to try it out. And uh, yeah, so we're going to be starting off to, to Portal today. This is the first part. Uh, and uh, what was I? I know it's not a long game for sure. So we'll be trying that. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, chapter one. Why is there a one minute timer here? I'm not a big fan of that. Alright. Forward backwards, okay. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Enrichment Center. The okay. only brief detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from uh Oh. The portal will open in three, two, one. Okay. Oh, hello. Hey, that's me. Hoo hoo. What what do we have on my legs? Are those like springs to jump or? Oh, hello. That's kind of weird. Now I know what Portal is. I've never actually played the game, so we'll we'll figure it out together. If it's your first time, well, oh, I can pick shit up. What does it say here? Oh, I can't read it. All right. Alrighty, let's keep going here then. Okay. I was like, where the fuck is this leading me? E to pick up objects. Alright, I guess bring it on that thing over here. Uh. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material events the patient grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Hmm, that's good to know. The aperture science weighted storage cube. Do I get another cube to try it? Okay. Did I get another cube? No? Oh, okay, not me, and the only the, the material, okay. Alright, oh. Uh, th is this an elevator of some kind? Aperture Laboratories. Apparently the first one's actually pretty com comical. So we'll have to see. We'll have to find out. All right. Hello. Level one or test one. Please place the weighted storage cube on the fifteen hundred megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. Okie dokie. Hello? Perfect. Oh, shit. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Okay, well, I'm trying to, but the portal is just taking forever here. Okie dokie. Alright, we got it. 
Alright, pretty simple so far. Can't wait to try I can't wait to try that famous uh portal gun eventually. Oh, okay. You're doing very well. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, that's where not where I need to go then. Okay, I saw where I need to go now. Porter gun will turn two times again and then come back to me. Oh, hello. Oh. You are now in possession of the aperture science handheld portal device. Ooh. With it, you can create your own portals. These interdimensional gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. <laughs> Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. All right. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, under no circumstances should move. That's no good. Hello? Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, okay, if you say so. So far I'm get I'm getting the hang of what I'm supposed to be doing with this. Alright. Hmm. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. My, where is it going? I'm missing the other end of the cube there. Where the fuck it is? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Once again, excellent work. <laughs> As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. All right. Okay, so don't be, don't get hit by the portal. Uh, Okie dokie. Where's the second portal cube? Or cube of some kind? Okie dokie. And okie dokie. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Good job. <laughs> As part of a required test protocol, we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two, one. Okie dokie. Alright. 
safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The Aperture Science High Energy Pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Unbelievable. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject hometown here. So far, so good. I get, I get the gist of it. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Good. Now use the aperture science on stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. Okay, just gotta wait till the platform comes back here, so I don't get cut with, by whatever the fuck that is. Alright. And I guess that after that I just jump from here. Huh! Yes we do. Too easy so far. I know they probably get way harder than that as I go on here, but... This portal gun is cool. All right. Please know that we have added a consequence for failure. Any contact with the chamber floor will result in an unsatisfactory mark on your official testing record, followed by death. Good luck. Well, that's not good. To here. Ah, uh, shit, did I fuck up? Oh, did I get it? Shit, I was just off just a tiny bit. Hmm. Is that gonna work? Got he. Alright, so, I'm, I probably have to do this. Can you just go in? Thank you. And then... Alrighty. I think we got the hang of this. Got the hang of this indeed. Note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. <laughs> oh, so I don't get the, the I don't get destroyed by the lava pit or whatever the toxic substance you had there. The enrichment center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Make no attempt to solve it. Okay. The Enrichment Center apologizes for this clearly broken test chamber. I'll get it, don't worry. Okay, now I think I got it. and resourceful in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. I knew it was gonna be good. And I know for a fact 
My people telling me the cake is a lie. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see at the end there. That's the whole joke, I guess. Which is funny. Okay, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> Not gonna win on me, buddy. Okay, so this is gonna go on the more... The more force I get, the, the more speed I have, the long, the, the farther I should go, right? There you go. You appear to understand how a portal affects forward momentum, which uh -huh. will be more precise how it does not. All right, let's try this way then. Oh. Momentum, a function of mass and velocity, is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Makes sense. Whoa! Now that's cool. All right, so I'm going to leave the first part of the training session of Portal here. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, of course, like the video and subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. Follow me everywhere, me, Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com forward slash me, Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day, the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.